Recycling on steroids, that's one way to describe what was an abandoned and polluted piece of Providence property. Thriving with a new direction. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has more in this week's Street Story. We're inside what was Providence Steel and Iron, a 100-year-old business that died that now has new life. When the steel yard moved in seven years ago, the historic building was empty and the landscape was a lead paint polluted brownfield. Grants helped spark some of the changes and now more than half the cash that keeps the steel yard cranking out everything from pottery to recycled public pieces. Trash cans, tree guards, bike racks. Comes from a collaboration of artisan-based businesses. There are classes that can teach anyone to blacksmith. My suit gets sandwiched, you're a dead man. <laughs> you can take this, this material that's, that's pretty rigid and uh, cold and industrial. Sometimes the material is man, transformed from Blackberry toting executives. It's like white collar jobs, and they thought they would want to do something with their hands, and so they could take a community class here. Two of the folks that did that um, went on to get careers. Uh, one became a pipe fitter, uh, and another became a welder. You're talking about creating jobs in a way. Yeah, absolutely. David Allen helped throw pottery into the mix. I work for myself, and every once in a while I'm able to hire other artists to help me out with jobs when I get larger scale commissions. And it's been just a really great place to seed my business. Following an election cycle when every candidate talked about helping small businesses and changing the landscape, at the steel yard, they're doing it. Part of our mission is, is revitalizing our creative community, and, and part of that is also our uh, industrial history. One of their next goals is to raise enough money to fix the leaking roof and some other interior issues as well. To find out more about that or to find out how you can get involved, log on to our website and we'll link you to theirs. On Kinsley Avenue in Providence, Wolf Buteau, Eyewitness News.